In October 2023, a single Raptor engine made history when Super Heavy Booster B-12 touched down in SpaceX's first successful catch. Today, that same engine, nicknamed Raptor Pi for its distinctive pizza slice marking, is about to write the next chapter in spaceflight history. After months of speculation, Elon Musk himself has confirmed what eagle-eyed SpaceX watchers have suspected. Raptor Pi is being prepared for its second flight. This isn't just another launch. It's the moment SpaceX proves that the most powerful rocket engine ever built can be used again. While the space industry watches in amazement, SpaceX isn't just pushing boundaries. They're rewriting the rules of what's possible. As we prepare for Flight 7, featuring the S-33 and B-14 pairing, we're witnessing the dawn of true rocket engine reusability. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, and today we're breaking down exactly how SpaceX is revolutionizing spaceflight, one reused engine at a time. Let's dive right in. The story of Raptor Pi begins on a day that changed spaceflight forever. As Super Heavy Booster B-12 descended from the Texas sky last October, the world held its breath. Years of development, countless iterations, and the dreams of thousands of engineers all culminated in those final moments. When the catch arms embraced B-12, they weren't just catching a rocket, they were catching the future. Among B-12's array of powerful engines, one stood out. Engine number 314, marked with its distinctive pizza slice symbol, had performed flawlessly during the mission. But unlike its predecessors that ended their journeys in the ocean, Raptor Pi was destined for something greater. The engineering team carefully removed it from B-12, knowing they weren't just preserving a piece of history, they were preparing for the next giant leap. The significance of reusing a Raptor engine cannot be overstated. Each Raptor is a masterpiece of engineering, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in rocket propulsion. The engine operates at pressures that would crush most machinery, handling temperatures that could melt nearly any metal. Yet SpaceX has achieved something remarkable. They've made it durable enough to fly again. This achievement didn't happen overnight. The journey from the original Raptor to today's Raptor 2 has been marked by continuous innovation. Each iteration brought improvements in reliability, performance, and most crucially, reusability. The fact that Raptor Pi is ready to fly again proves that SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection is paying off. Now, as we look at B-14 being prepared for Flight 7, we're seeing the next chapter unfold. The integration of Raptor Pi into this new booster isn't just a technical achievement, it's a testament to SpaceX's vision. They're not just building rockets, they're building a sustainable future for space exploration. The key to this future lies in SpaceX's revolutionary catch system. When critics question the wisdom of catching a massive rocket with mechanical arms, SpaceX saw the bigger picture. The Mechazilla system isn't just about preventing damage during landing. It's about enabling rapid reuse. By bringing the booster directly back to the launch mount, SpaceX has eliminated the need for complex transportation and lengthy refurbishment procedures. This breakthrough in processing time is crucial. Traditional rocket engines require months of inspection and refurbishment between flights. But SpaceX's data from B-12's landing shows that their engines maintained exceptional health throughout the mission. This means that with proper design and careful operation, these engines can potentially fly multiple times with minimal downtime. The contrast with other rocket companies is striking. While Blue Origin's BE-4 engine made its debut earlier this year, and Chinese companies raced to develop their own reusable engines, SpaceX is already moving to the next phase. The gap isn't just technological, it's philosophical. While others aim for partial reusability or single-engine reuse, SpaceX is building an architecture where every component can fly again and again. But SpaceX isn't resting on their laurels. Even as Raptor Pi prepares for its second flight, the next-generation Raptor 3 engine is being developed. This new engine promises even greater reliability and reusability, building on everything learned from the current generation. The improvements aren't just incremental, they're revolutionary. Consider what this means for the future of space travel. When Starship achieves full reusability, the cost of reaching orbit will plummet. We're not talking about modest reductions. We're looking at a potential hundredfold decrease in launch costs. 
This isn't just about making space more accessible. It's about opening up entirely new possibilities for human civilization. The infrastructure being built at Starbase tells a story. The massive catch towers, the rapid processing facilities, the launch mounts, everything is designed for a future where rockets fly as regularly as airplanes. And at the heart of this system is the Raptor engine, now proven capable of making the journey multiple times. The impact is already being felt across the globe. Chinese space companies are accelerating their development of reusable rockets with ambitious plans for their own methane-powered engines. The Long March family of rockets is evolving, with the 8A and 12A variants incorporating reusability features. Private companies like Landspace and Galactic Energy are pushing forward with their own designs, all inspired by SpaceX's achievements. But as Flight 7 approaches, all eyes are on Raptor Pi. This engine isn't just carrying the hopes of SpaceX, it's carrying the dreams of everyone who believes in a spacefaring future. Its performance will demonstrate whether rapid reusability is truly possible, whether the economics of spaceflight can be transformed, and whether we're ready to take the next step in human exploration. The teams at Starbase are now in the final stages of preparation. Every sensor is being checked, every system verified, every procedure reviewed. They know that this flight isn't just another launch, it's a defining moment in the history of spaceflight. When Raptor Pi ignites for the second time, it will be proving that the future SpaceX has promised is becoming reality. The journey from the first Raptor test fire to today has been remarkable. Through failures and successes, setbacks and breakthroughs, SpaceX has remained focused on their ultimate goal, making life multi-planetary. The reuse of Raptor Pi isn't just a technical milestone, it's proof that this goal is within reach. As we wait for Flight 7, we're not just waiting for another launch. We're waiting to see the moment when spaceflight changes forever. When that engine lights up again, it won't just be lifting a rocket. It will be lifting humanity into a new era of space exploration. The reuse of Raptor Pi marks more than just a technical milestone. It's the moment when reusable spaceflight becomes truly real. As Flight 7 approaches, we're not just witnessing another launch. We're seeing the future of space exploration unfold before our eyes, one reused engine at a time. If you're as excited as we are about this historic moment, drop a let's go pie in the comments below. Your engagement helps spread the word about these groundbreaking achievements in spaceflight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all the latest developments from SpaceX. This is Elon Musk, 24 hours, bringing you the cutting edge of space innovation. Until next time, remember, every reused engine brings us one step closer to becoming a spacefaring civilization. On October 19th, 2024, as engineers comb through debris in the Gulf of Mexico, they made a discovery that would mark a turning point in space exploration. Among the recovered components of Super Heavy Booster 12 lay a single Raptor engine, number 314. But this wasn't just any engine. This particular piece of hardware was about to make history. For decades, the story of spaceflight has been one of remarkable achievements paired with staggering waste. Rockets built to be thrown away after a single use. SpaceX changed that narrative with the Falcon 9, proving that rockets could land themselves and fly again. But even that breakthrough wasn't enough for Elon Musk and his team. They set their sights on an even bolder vision. Starship, humanity's first fully reusable spacecraft. Now just six flights into the Starship test program, SpaceX is about to cross another historic threshold. In a recent update about Flight 7, the company confirmed what eagle-eyed observers had already suspected. Raptor engine 314, recovered from Flight 5, will fly again. This marks the first time in history that a Starship engine will make a return journey to space. This isn't just about reusing a single engine. It's about proving that the most complex, high-stress components of the world's most powerful rocket can be recovered, refurbished, and relaunched. It's about transforming spaceflight from a series of one-way trips into a truly sustainable enterprise. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest breakthroughs in space exploration.
Today, we're diving deep into this groundbreaking development that's setting new standards in rocket reusability. Let's dive right in. The story of Raptor Engine 314 begins in the pre-dawn hours of October 2024. As the massive Super Heavy Booster 12 thundered to life during Starship's fifth test flight, this particular engine was just one of 33 powerful Raptors pushing humanity's most ambitious spacecraft toward the stars. No one knew then that this engine would become a pioneer in spaceflight history. When Booster 12 separated from Starship and made its descent back to Earth, it carried with it the hopes of countless engineers who had spent years perfecting the recovery process. The successful retrieval of most of the booster's components from the Gulf of Mexico wasn't just a victory, it was validation of SpaceX's entire approach to spaceflight. But the real breakthrough came during the detailed inspection of the recovered hardware. Engineers discovered something remarkable about Engine 314. It had weathered the intense forces of launch and re-entry with minimal wear. The distinctive markings on its casing told a story of resilience, of metal and engineering pushed to their limits and emerging ready for more. When Elon Musk confirmed on X that Engine 314 would fly again on Starship Flight 7, he wasn't just announcing a technical achievement. He was declaring the dawn of a new era in space exploration. Just as the Falcon 9 revolutionized orbital launches, this moment marks the beginning of full reusability for the most powerful rocket ever built. The timing of Flight 7, scheduled for January 10th, carries its own significance. NASA has specifically requested this window to calibrate their tracking equipment in U.S. airspace before its deployment to Australia. This coordination between SpaceX and NASA highlights the growing synergy between private and public space enterprises, all working toward the common goal of making space more accessible. But the reuse of Raptor Engine 314 is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Flight 7 represents multiple breakthrough attempts converging in a single mission. SpaceX will make their second attempt at catching the Super Heavy booster using the launch tower, a maneuver that, if successful, would eliminate the need for ocean recoveries altogether. Picture it, a 230-foot-tall rocket precisely guiding itself back to Earth to be caught by mechanical arms like a cosmic game of catch. The engineering behind these achievements pushes the boundaries of what we thought possible. The Raptor engine itself represents the pinnacle of rocket propulsion technology. Unlike traditional rocket engines, which often waste significant portions of their propellant, the Raptor's full-flow stage combustion system is a marvel of efficiency. Every molecule of fuel and oxidizer passes through the engine's twin pre-burners before entering the main combustion chamber, extracting maximum performance from each drop of propellant. Space and X's development of the SX-500 Super Alloy specifically for the Raptor engine exemplifies their innovative approach. This proprietary blend of copper, aluminum, and steel can withstand pressures up to 12,000 PSI and temperatures that would melt conventional materials. When you consider that each Raptor engine generates more power than a dozen Hoover dams, the importance of these materials becomes clear. The journey to this point hasn't been without setbacks. March's challenging moment during Starship's third launch, when a restart attempt was aborted after the rocket lost control, served as a crucial learning experience. The engineering team's response, methodically analyzing the failure, implementing improvements, and validating their solutions through rigorous testing, demonstrates the iterative approach that has become SpaceX's hallmark. Looking ahead to Raptor 5-3, Currently under development, we see SpaceX's commitment to continuous improvement. While V2 engines like 314 have proven their reliability, serving as the foundation for Starship's early flights, V3 promises even greater performance and reusability. The decision to reuse V2 engines now, rather than waiting for V3's completion, reflects a practical balance between immediate progress and long-term goals. The implications of successful engine reuse extend far beyond SpaceX's bottom line. When you consider that each Raptor engine costs millions to produce, the ability to reuse these complex machines multiple times drastically reduces the cost per launch. This isn't just about saving money, it's about making space accessible to a broader range of missions and possibilities. Think about what this means for future Mars missions. A fully reusable Starship capable of making multiple trips with minimal refurbishment, 
could establish regular cargo runs between Earth and Mars. The same engines that lift off from Earth could potentially fire up again on the Red Planet, using locally produced methane fuel for the return journey. Think about what this means for future Mars missions. A fully reusable starship, capable of making multiple trips with minimal refurbishment, could establish regular cargo runs